Marine animals, like whales, dolphins, seals, and sea turtles, depend on a functioning ocean ecosystem for their survival. They are also important indicators of overall ocean health. NOAA fishery scientists are finding that climate change is leading to rapid changes in our oceans, often harming protected species, many of which are already threatened or endangered. Climate-driven changes such as higher ocean temperatures and more frequent and extreme weather events like marine heat waves and hurricanes can directly affect the health and condition of these animals. They can also impact the availability of the habitat and prey they rely on to survive and reproduce. We use passive acoustic monitoring, which is basically putting microphones or underwater microphones called hydrophones out in the water. And we can look through the recordings and see what species calls we heard. We looked at humpback, say, fin, and blue whales and found that from 2010 to 2014, compared to 2004 to 2010, and there were shifts in each region of where species occurred. Some species shifted further north into northern regions after 2010. It's probable that they're shifting due to changes in ocean temperatures, which are then leading to changes in prey, and so it's likely that they're following prey. And as they continue shifting, because they will be overlapping with human activity, such as where ships are or where there is fishing gear. And so it's also then going to introduce them to threats like ship strike and entanglement. We're seeing even more dramatic shifts in ocean conditions in Alaska. Increasing temperatures related to climate change have had a host of impacts in the Arctic region. There's been a decline in the sea ice extent over the past decades, and this reduction in ice-covered areas in April likely has had significant impacts for ice-associated seals. Female ice seals use sea ice as a platform to haul out onto, to give birth to their pups, and to nurse them. Sea ice is also very important for seals when it's time to molt. Changes in the extent of sea ice have also impacted the distributions of seals and their prey. We have found a decline in body condition, particularly in ribbon seals and also in pups of all species. Extreme weather events linked with climate change can harm the health of marine animals. 2019 was a record-breaking year of precipitation, which caused an unprecedented amount of uh, freshwater discharge in the Gulf of Mexico, causing a, a drastic drop in the salinity levels. The salinity was so low for so long that we did observe uh, some health impacts to dolphins. We were seeing skin lesions, abnormal blood chemistry, uh, and eventual death. We did have an increase in bottlenose dolphin strandings. All but nine, in fact, stranded dead. Altogether, there were 337 uh, bottlenose dolphins that stranded. Climate change creates daunting challenges for many marine animals, and there is still much to learn about these threats to their health and populations so that we can better protect them into the future. Together with our partners, we are on the forefront of scientific research and innovation for conserving marine animals and their habitats. NOAA Fisheries uses the best available science in our conservation work, from assessing and monitoring marine animal populations, to understanding the implications of changing ocean conditions all along the food chain, to researching disease agents such as harmful algal blooms. Like all marine species, marine mammals and sea turtles are an important part of the ocean ecosystem. A sound science approach is critical to building our understanding of climate change impacts on marine animals, and it will inform our conservation work for these protected species, enhancing their resilience and adaptation in the years to come.